Shangri-La. Um, right, you know what? Uh, I always say, um, don't fiddle unless you're on a violin. If you're on a violin, then fiddle. If you're not, then if you've got, that's what I say, if you've got a violin bow in your hand, then do a bit of fiddling dee, 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 on your violin. If, you, if you've got a paintbrush in your hand, uh, this is a paintbrush, um, then um, don't be fiddling. That's what I normally says in it, right? Forget all that. What I'm gonna do, I painted it, this one yesterday, right? And there's no wrong with this, it's a fast, loose walk up painting. It works as it is. But I thought I'd show you today how to polish it up. So I'm gonna try and make it. So I bring these bits even closer in, what throws them bits even further back and gives me the hallucination of some depth in the painting. Um, it's gonna make it look more three dimensional. I'm gonna get, so see that really dark bit there? That's giving me a lovely contract between the light and the dark. So I'm gonna try and work on some more of that. And uh, that's basically it. So I think I'll probably move right painting as I'm going as bits dry and stuff. I think I'll start here, right at the front. Although I could end up putting my hand on it. No, I might go back. I might change my mind and go back. So I'll end up putting my hand on it in it. Right, so let me get like a dullish sort of green colour mix then. Dee -dee 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 -dee. I'm gonna come right in here and get a few little bits in here. So I'm gonna sort of mucky, mucky green colour. <laughs> mixing it up there. Oh, that's not bad. Not bad at all. Quite watery. Um, let's use a smaller brush, actually. Right, so, I'm going to try and get a bit more of a point on some of these trees, actually. I wonder if I can do that. So if I get that there, do a bit of that, just a tiny bit more of a point on some of these trees. Then into just wet it and soften it. Soften it all in. Water. See, I might go a bit more art paint and all. So I'm just going to be building in a bit of sort of texture in here. Just more water again now. Right. Now, I think I'll just leave that now to dry a bit. Or, shall I tell you what, let's do another bit down in here somewhere. Then it's sort of so it's quite far away from that bit. Do it like that. Onto your water quickly so it don't dry in. And then completely melt it away into there. There we are. That's that. So that's good. Now let's get this bigger brush. Just I'm thinking strengthen up these bits here. I always thought this bit here were a bit weak when I did it. it. Go back to this more pointed brush. Just get some bigger points on these trees. Better points. That's it. Oh look at, look at that. So I'm just moving round. Just altering stuff. In fact, if you look there, look, there's a bit of some trees in the background there. Can you see that? Some fainter ones in there. Looks nice. Some water in. Soften that all in. Plenty of water. That's 
it and it's just softened all that in. There. That's cool. Um, mm, this is really dark. It goes slightly darker in here. I'll pop a touch of that in. I'm looking at it, it looks like a slight green colour. I think I can mix that. So it looks like a slight green. Greeny brown. Let's see if I get some of this black. Let's mix it with a tiny tot of green. Send it tiny bit greenish black. Yeah, I think I'm, what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to wet my paper first. Just in here like this. Just sort of down there, something like that. That's it. It just gets a little bit stronger there. And then it sort of hits the water and fades out. I'm whispering again, I always whisper when I'm concentrating. I think I can come down into there. Still got my bit of a tree there, what's just showing, popping out top of there, look. And this will dry a bit, slight bit lighter, so I'll probably still see that tree when I'm done. And that's just pulling that bit out. Yeah. Nice. Um, I think that's about all there is in there, because it's... Um, Quite misty, so I think I might leave that at that. I think what I might do is have a little dab in here, even. I'll mist out it a little bit more. So you can still just see that tree there. There's all these bits here. That's all mist going up there. That's nice. There's a slight pattern in there, but I'm not keen on. So while I'm polishing up, I'll sort it. Now normally I'd just rub at it, but because I'm on cartridge paper, I'll just end up with an hole in my paper. So what I'm going to do, instead of rubbing at it, I'm just going to put a bit of designer's white gouch in. And just blend it round a little bit to mist it out. There well, that's done it. It was just a little bit of a line, what I didn't like. Right, so that's that. Alright, now then. Um, I will go back in there and do some stuff. In fact, what's this like? Is this dry yet? It's gone quite dry. I'll tell you what I'm going to do now. Um, right, let's get this same colour. This slight mix a bit more. Slight green, bit of that green, bit of this dark here. Right, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Just in it, I'm going to do some negative painting. So I'm going to have some things there look like that. These are some trees. What's coming down here? Like this, just down into there, like that. In fact, I'm going to turn it upside down for this. Still see that, don't you? And then, where am I? Oh, yeah, there. I'm going to do some negative painting. Get a little puddle like that of water. Even more water, look. Get that little puddle. Negative painting. Soften this in all round. That's it, more of a puddle. Paint. That's it. That's sad. So that's a bit of negative painting there. So I'll spin it back now. Ooh. Probably the thickness of that paint. I'm tripping. See that? That looks like the top of some trees there. And then up there. I'll just give that a dab. There's a few lines and stuff in there, but I'll pop a few more details in that as well. And then I might soften all the lot off in a bit. Because I still want that to look quite distant. It's coming a bit close at the minute. What in fact is that dry? What I could do, it's still not bad, what I could 
do is come up here now and just pop in a few, even a few more like that through there. Um, a slight muckier colour into there. Like that. These are just a few details of stuff. Let's soften it back off. I think what I'll end up doing is coming back into this and just softening all this off so it's a lot less for you to see. So that's a bit more detail in there. Right, I think now, what shall I do now? Mm. Let's come over. So that's done, that's done. These trees here I think are all right. I'll come over in here, start doing a bit of detail in here, I think. Right, so I'll get this same brush, um, mix up. I'll have a nice dark colour for this. I think I'm gonna come in here, do a nice mix up in here. Nice colour. tree summit like that what I'm doing trying to create the top of that tree there if I get a bit of this soft colour now start softening a bit in Blending in as well. So that look like that's just give me a bit of salt around the top of there. And then if I come in here, come in here like this. Into the dark bit in there. Look side of that thing there for that little Job it up into there like that. Again, we'll soften that into some softer colour. Put that into there. Ding, 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 ding. Get a lot darker colour. I think what I'll do, I think I'll come in with some darker colour in here. And then mix it into some softer colour there. Look fade down into the bar. That looks quite nice, look just at that like that. That's it. That's just hopefully making that look more like an ickle bush in there. So I'm just polishing up a little bit, bringing out some darks and lights to bring this a bit closer. Now actually in here, there's quite a lot that's a bit darker. So rather than fiddle about too much, uh, I think I'll just get my little spiky brush and just pop a few extra darks in here, right from this side here like this one. We come in there. I've got paint on one side of me, spiky brush, and now on to the so I can swap round and just blend in like that. Look, so it's dry brush work, and it's this is called stippling. So I can do a bit of that. That's just a lot quicker. And this little fiddly bits what I've been doing in here a lot quicker. There we are. So that's that. Yeah, looks pretty nice, I think. Um, just stand back and have a look at that. Yeah, that's pretty good. I think as it's going up, it's perhaps getting 
a little bit lighter in colour. Let me just try. Tiny bit more. Might bring some more darks into it. I think as I go up, I might take it slightly lighter. There along a lot good. It's back. Time that dries, that should be pretty good. So that should bolt that in that little bit closer. Um, might even do a little bit round there, get that bit in a bit, a little tiny bit just in here, and then I can go upside of that tree and all and emphasize, emphasize that tree a little bit there as well. Dee, 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 in there, a few dark bits in there, look, down here. All these darks are all going to pull this. In closer. Bits in there, long. Right up against there for you. Then you've got your contract between your dark and your light, you see. And then bring that across there, to there. Bit of just water. Could even just splodge some. Greeny colours in here would probably look nice, and all. Splodge a bit of greeny colours in. Let's get some in there like that. Look right up against that bit there to thicken it up. Right up in there. There we are. Wow. Oh, look at that. Just wax her again. Soften it all in. Job's are good. I'll pop some green. Side, just soften it in a bit. Yeah, I like this. That's rocking good. There we are. So it's just pulled all that a little bit closer with that by doing that. Right, so now I think I'll cut into them rocks. I think, I'll tell you what, I think I'm going to do now. Grab this one into it come up and just splodge around some of this stuff in here because this just looks too repetitive and patterny so this is what you do when it's like that you have to splodge some bits about I think probably some slight bits of stuff in there pull it back Well, just softening it all really so there's slight hints that there's stuff going on in here but not loads of stuff so it's just water soften it in and just do that just soften the whole colours in that should look better and I'll just let that dry a bit and that should look better if not if it's not quite faded back enough I'll just do a bit more so I'll let that dry for now right That and we'll have some dark colours in here. This will pull all this bit forward. I'm going to go around my rocks, 
around them light bits there see the, some of these light bits what I'm going around they're going to give me a good contract between light and dark see there a little bit of a thing there some little pebbles and stuff little rocks sketching them all in I think what I'll do so it fades back as I go further away I'll not read it my brush and then that'll do that for me I don't have to really worry about it And then as it goes back there, I'll read it. Put a few hints or a few rocks in there. So that's that. Ah, there is some really dark rocks in here though. So I'll whap them in. Doofus, yesterday, managed to get him sent a day's walk at the magic shop. When I say the magic shop, I don't mean like a like a magic wand or out like that it's a shop what sells the magic brand what's the same as the expensive brands but half the price <sighs> dee, 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 dee. so doof has got a job well he ain't got a job there he just got a day's work there the magic shop i think he was stacking the shelves up with magic products he rang me up. He says, What should he do? He's been offered payment in money or some magic beans. <laughs> says, Get the magic beans, do first. I've watched the documentary about the magic beans. Magic beans make a magic beanstalk so get the magic beans doofus don't be stupid we'll grow a magic beanstalk so he opted to fuck magic beans in it now I watched a documentary about it right up into the yellow Let's soften this in Yeah, so it's got his only trouble is we've planted the put the magic beans in garden last night we've been out for a look this morning all that's actually happened is um, there's a load of ants crawling around in tomato sauce so I don't think they're magic beans I don't think they were all that magic to be honest Maybe the beanstalk will grow tomorrow. Who knows? There we are. Let's just pull that in a bit closer. Esmeralda and uh, Esmeralda's my girlfriend. She's got nice eyes and she lets me feel them. And Doofus's girlfriend, Donna Kebab, they've got their heads together and they want to go to the, um, they're saying we never take them out, so they want to go to the quiz night. So, looks like we've got to take them to quiz night. <laughs> right, it's quite dark in here up against there. I think I'll have a dark bit up against there, like that look. Another one up there. Like that. Then I best soften both of them in. Then it's going to be dark right back in here. It's going to be dark anyway, so I'll just get that in. There and soften, I'll have to soften that in. Looks like there's a bit of a tree thing in there. Right, soften that in. Yeah, they want us to take us to take them to the uh, pub quiz night. How many trouble is that pub quiz night? It's full of men like drinking beer and burping and stuff. Um, 
sometimes they start laughing at me and doofers. What it looks like, I've got to take them anyway. Apparently it's a pub quiz night, so me and doofus has got the idea what we're going to do. We're going to write down all the answers this week from the pub quiz. So when it comes to next week, we'll know all answers. <laughs> How clever is that? Apparently at this pub they've got bouncers on the doors and they stand on the doors and throw people in. Oh, I've brought that a bit forward now. Let me just stand back and have a look. I think it's, uh, I think it's doing what I want it to do. So it's just bought it for it and sorted it out a bit. Right, so. Um, right. I want a little bit more in there, I think. So get me a little bit of paint on this brush. This is just font umber, paint grey, bit of blue. I'm just going to come in there. Maybe a tad more water. Come in there like that. Just something like that. Let's try this. I think I might just want a few more bits like that. Yellows. I think what I'll do, I'll pop my colours in like this, and then sort of soften them in with this. Some, uh, some just yellow and try and get some bits in there that's it try and get that bit a bit stronger there that stand out a bit more that's it yeah Some of them colour in teach her a bit. Yeah. Then it looks like there's some around here. Let's say that's a bush there, like that. So we'll block that one in there, like that, a bit of that, a bit of this yellow here. That's it. Watch me brush out. A bit of this bright yellow in here, into that. Soften some of this in and some out, some in there. I blend about a bit like that one. That always works nice, softening some colour in and out. And then some really dark colour right down in here again. That's it. And then in there, watch the brush. I think same again, I might. Whack this with some strong yellow so I get a bit of a soft edge on there. To there, to this green, boom, 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 boom. to this green, there. and some of this really dark colour down in here. A bit of matter, soften it all around so it splodges around a bit. That's it. Now then, right now. Now, 
near him and in it. Down there, over there, over there, into there, yippee dee. Go around my initials there, look. I'll put a tad more water into my paint now because I think what I'll do is I'll gradually bring it a bit lighter as I come down here. Let's get some more brown in rather than just the black. It's looking a bit black here. The brown will probably warm it up, pull it in even closer. Just, I think, stand back and have a look at that. I think that's just warmed it up just enough to get me where I want. What's that off? That's still a bit damp up there, so I'll give that a dab. Quite faint anyway, in there. Stand back and have a look. Yeah, I think that's just polished it up that little bit. It's brought this stuff in a bit closer, took some of the other stuff back a bit. It's done job for me, just polished it up. Let me just get it to dry because I want that. Upside down, get a brush. I think I'm gonna do with some designer's white gouge. Now, same again, you can rub at this and do this if you're on a quality paper, you can just rub this out to white. But on this cartridge paper, you can't, it's not gonna work because you're just gonna damage your paper. So, all I'm gonna do get this designer's right white gouge and instead of rubbing back to white paper, like I would if I were on proper paper. I'm just going to blend it in just to soften in some of that wine. Let me get a bigger brush. That one's perfect. Just softening in some of these white colours. So it just softens out in and out. Some of this stuff gives me a bit of mist. A bit of mist in here. Just to blend some of this out and soften some bits in. Let's turn that back round and have a look. That's it. There, it's just soften that back into distance a bit more. So I think I'll pop a bit orange to soften it all in. And then we're about done. That's the best way to do it. If you've got too much colour in on this paper, add a tiny bit of that on. It'll fade it back. Or um, Chinese white will do it as well. Oh, like that. That's it. Just faded that back a little bit more, made it look a little bit misty. There we are. Let me stand back and have a look. That'll do me. Probably still took too much of your time off. Well, that'll do me. Just don't like this bit here. It's a tiny bit here. What I don't like. So I'm just going to come in there. Bit of negative paint in there, around up to that bit. Look, 
Then we'll just blend that down there. Oh, that bit. And soften it back in with a bit more water. I think it's that bit of negative painting what I did, I don't actually like. So I misted it back out. Oh, you don't like? Missed it back out. Yeah, you know the bit I did there with the negative painting? I don't really like it. So, misted it back out. There you go. You just dry that, it'll dry peel it. Tell you where I will do. Pop in. Where shall we have them? Smells like Peter and Paul looking for a few worms, aren't we? Peter and Paul are looking for a few worms. There we are. That's better. I'm stand back in there and have a look. Oh, yeah. That's just built that up a bit more. Get it a bit more three dimensional. Right. I'll see you on the beach. Yeah.